-hmm. Now, UBS just did a survey uh, back in February of Berkshire Hathaway investors, and by far the number one issue for them is still management su succession. Did that surprise you? Why is it still the number one issue? No, I mean, I think it's always an issue because people, you know, think of Warren Buffett with Berkshire Hathaway, right? That's obviously what happens. I mean, the second one that the, uh, in the survey that was concerning to people was um, the, the performance of the equity portfolio, right? But that was probably also because it was in February and a bunch of things was going on. You know, and I think the third most concerning one was what is he going to do with the hundred plus billion dollars of cash in his balance sheet? And that's something that I think about a lot. Um, but post Buffett, I mean, I think a lot of the panelists have talked about it here. I, I, I think Berkshire is still a phenomenal company, right? Um, number one, you still have this concept of permanent capital, right? Such a huge competitive advantage over a lot of different companies out there. Um, being able to invest in private and public equities, huge advantage to have, you know, you know, right now, given how expensive it is for some of these private market valuations for companies. Um, you know, he doesn't use much debt, so you know that stays. Um, and he's made it very clear, I think, to people that the culture of the company is not going to change. I'm sure he's, the board knows that, right? So um, I think that's an important thing too, that the long-term investment horizon, um, you know, integrity, you know, all of those great, you know, um, morals and everything that you know Warren puts in the company is going to stay, right? And then I think the third concept too that's still there that um, that Warren's done a phenomenal job with is this concept of insurance float. Right, that insurance flow concept, and and I'm an insurance analyst, right? So this is near and dear to my heart. This whole concept of insurance float, so um, that's still going to be around. We're going to dig more in on insurance because mm -hmm. I know that's something that you yep. really like to cover. Um, if you go back though to the financial crisis, mm -hmm. you just would hear these stories of companies calling Buffett, yep. looking for that financial lifeline. It's not just about the capital; it was really that endorsement coming from Buffett. So my question is. When he's no longer at Berkshire Hathaway, when Munger's no longer there, will that will they still get that phone call? Do you think the folks at Berkshire yeah. will get that phone call, and will it mean the same thing? Yeah, I mean that's that's obviously the one big thing that you lose, right? When um, uh, when Charlie and Warren are around, is that kind of market clout, right? But um, I, I'm sure that what's going on right now is you know Todd and Ted are being trained. You know, by Warren, um, I mean, Todd sits on the board of J.P. Morgan, right? So they've got all their connections and they're developing all these connections, you know, and Warren's super smart and he knows how to mentor people. And that's what he's doing right now to put them in that position that, you know, when you have a situation like a financial crisis or whatever, they know or an investment banker on Wall Street knows, oh, let me call Todd, let me call Ted, let me call Jeet, right? Boom, first call. So, um, and also I'm sure he's training them to actually have that ability to turn that transaction around in 24 hours. And that's another very new thing about, you know, Warren Buffett and Berkshire Hathaway. I mean, when your banker runs into a situation and he needs to figure out a deal or get capital in 24 hours, it's not easy to do, right? Warren can do that very quickly. I guess the other thing is, uh, when you think about it, you have Ajit Jain, Greg Abel, who mm -hmm. will be running operations. You have Ted Weschler, Todd Combs running the investment portfolio. D does it concern you, though, that you have four folks um, in these positions where before it was just one person? Well, I, I really think of the company as, as really run by a management team already, right? So, um, I mean, I know. You know, Warren obviously oversees, you know, a lot of looks at the operations and, and you know, from what you hear and talking to a lot of the manager of the operations, you know, get that great phone call from Warren, encouraging phone call, you know, talking to him. But they're, you know, it's the managers that are really running the businesses right now. So from the operations side, I don't think you lose anything. Um, and then, you know, from the investment portfolio perspective, I mean, you know, Todd and Ted are getting more and more money. They're doing a lot of you know, great things with the money, good performance. Um, and actually, one other thing I pointed out in my research too, think about it, if you're an investment manager um, like Todd or Ted, and you actually basically have the US economy at your fingertips with all of these companies that they own, what a great advantage to have as an investment manager, right? I'd love to have that. So it's a great, it's great to have that. It's a good point because you can pick up the phone. Hey, what are yeah. what, how are railroads doing? Or well, exactly, how, yeah, or retail or whatnot. Uh, let's talk though about insurance. That's something yeah. that you're really into. Something you're going to be focused on this weekend. Yep. Uh, 
what is the catalyst there going forward for Berkshire Hathaway? What should folks really be paying attention to? Yeah, I think there's some good things happening in the insurance business right now. First one, Geico, huge insurance company, obviously a lot of people are familiar with. Um, Geico went through a period over the last, call it, two years where they were trying to improve their profitability. Growth really slowed. Um, that's actually coming to a turning point. So I think you're going to start to see policy and forth growth really start to pick up at Geico here going forward generate some more float. That's a good thing. The second thing that's um, a hot topic in the insurance industry right now is something called a firming commercial insurance market. So commercial line insurance pricing is getting, getting tighter, going up right now. And one particular area is called the non-admitted or non-standard part of the market. Um, big company called AIG, Lloyd's of London over in London, have been contracting that business. The second largest player in that business is Berkshire Hathaway, and their growth rate in that business the last couple of years has been phenomenal. And I expect there's a lot more business going their way right now. So they're really, really just in the sweet spot. You know who loves insurance? Warren Buffett. Absolutely. So Brian Meredith, uh, UBS analyst, thank you so much for your time.